Welcome back to our uh, second of three uh, videos regarding the ISS operations in Service Spec 4 of SSM 2007. Uh, we have stopped on the previous video, the rendezvous video, at the 600 feet uh, station keeping position for the RPM. On this video we will cover from the RPM all the way into the uh, docking adapter uh, to a full contact. Uh, if you look at the SSM 2007 manual, you'll have you'll see that you have uh, a chapter called Terminal uh, RPM and Torva. Right now we're on step six on that uh, step five slash step six of the Terminal RPM Torva thing. Uh, station keeping uh, the 600 feet starting the RPM. Now if you look at the event uh, part you'll see that you have some DAP settings uh, and instructions to help you around throughout the uh, rendezvous, the final phase of the rendezvous. Uh, so let's just get straight into business. Just a quick reminder. We are uh, 600 feet we have all translation on pulse. We are on LVLH, which keeps us uh, keeps us at zeros, and we have uh, flight app control and my said access is set. This is another important thing to note is that uh, the ADI rate is set to low. This is very important going into the RPM due to the rate of the RPM. On the shuttle, it's done automatically using several inputs on the. Uh, on the DAP settings on the GPC which is not implemented in SSM 2007 yet so we'll need to do the RPM manually. Uh, if you are familiar with the RPM it's a procedure that takes roughly nine minutes so if you take the nine minutes uh, and divide them by 360 degrees you'll come up with something like 0.75 degrees per second give or take rough math so this is the rate we'll need this is why we need the low settings uh, on the rate because let me remind you that the rate in low is one degree so this is will be the 0 0.2 0 0.3 uh, sorry 0 0.2 0 0.4 0 0.6 0 0.8 we'll do something like 0 0.7 somewhere down here now uh, we are ordered to start the uh, RPM so the easiest fastest and most convenient way to do it consists of two steps hit the free hit the pitch to rate because we need to pitch down we don't need to change anything else as soon as we are out of uh, of the free you'll start seeing the pitch drift which is good saves us time now because we're using the aft we're going to minus Z we need to pitch the nose up the nose is way behind us so what we actually need to do is uh, pitch the the tail down which is push the stick forward and that's we, what we're gonna do we're gonna push the stick forward to about 0 0.7 degrees and just wait if we we'll go to the ISS in time skip you'll see that the shell is slowly spinning around showing its belly to the uh, anxious astronauts taking pictures now as we go into the uh, the, the minus uh, the 180 mark you'll see that we have a slight drift on pitch and yaw but it doesn't really matter because it's a, such a minor drift and we're just rolling ourselves automatically because we know that the changes are manual so we'll just leave it and it's something that will pretty much even itself out going back uh, across the 180 towards the 100% uh, mark now as we go going 170 175 right now our belly is towards the uh, ISS 178 
180 and we got a com that orders us to go on to the zero I'm doing nothing I'm just yeah, letting the uh, DAP uh, the shuttle con continue its maneuver completely autonomously uh, all we need to uh, make sure is that we stabilize on the zero not just cross the zero stabilize and get the confirmation that the RPM was a success and you can go on to docking if you won't uh, do that you might end up uh, in a very uncomfortable situation where you cannot dock and you can't understand why so as the pitch goes into its position you see uh, that I've drifted a bit to the right I don't know why as we go in I'll switch the depth back to LVLH it will help us stabilize and now we have the go for docking now uh, before we go we need to uh, familiar ourselves with the Torva uh, we have plenty of si time to the night side so let's just look a bit on this scenario let's use the free cam it will be easier to see I think hope I can uh, zoom out further enough from the shuttle and see the entire ISS complex let's have a go need to roll that one mm, no I don't think that's good enough no I can't so let's just use this one and hope we'll see enough okay this is the ISS during uh, docking uh, it's positioned on LVLH same as the shuttle both on LVLH where we are approaching from the R bar, the bottom side, which is here. The uh, Zen, uh, the, the Nadir side, it's also referred to. We have the uh, the Zenith, which is uh, Nadir and Zenith are uh, astronomical. I don't know if it's purely astronomical, but Zenith is looking straight up to the sky. Nadir is looking straight down towards the center of the Earth. And this is the Alba. Uh, we have at the station, if you will recall, is also has port side, starboard side, nadir side, and zenith side. The Z1 truss is up here. It's the zenith uh, truss. So, and as you can see, our docking port is on the front of the station. On the front. So, what we need to do in the Torva is get ourselves from down here to up here and just wait for the ISS and slow just a bit to have the ISS go, back, go into us and uh, do the work for us. We'll just uh, travel slowly 